Hello and welcome to our school at home class in English grade 6. We are in the second quarter of our set of lessons and I hope everybody will delight in learning today with lesson number 8. Compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures. Present perfect tense of verbs. For a start, do the following exercise. You can pause this video if you will need more time. Press play again when you're finished with the activity and when you're ready to proceed with the lesson. See the present perfect tense of verb found in each number. I have lost my ball pen. You have met him this month. She has done her homework. Have they divided the work? It has done this week. Post the video for a while for your answer. I think you're done, so let's reveal the answer. Here are the answers. Have lost. Have met. Has done. Have divided. Has done. Are your answers correct? Good job, kids! We have learned the different tenses of verbs, such as simple present tense of verbs, simple past tense of verbs, simple future tense of verbs, and simple progressive tense of verbs. Let us try the exercises. You can also post this video every after the question to see your answer. Here is the sample of past progressive. She was writing an excused letter. Post this video for a while and give your answer in present progressive. Let's find out if your answer is correct. The present progressive is She is writing an excused letter. Is your answer the same? And the future progressive is she will be writing an excused letter. Here is another example, present progressive. They are cleaning the area. What is the past and future progressive? The past progressive is, they were cleaning the area. And the future progressive is, they will be cleaning the area. Here is the sample of future progressive. She will be celebrating her birthday. Pause for a while and give your answer for past and present progressive. For past progressive, she was celebrating her birthday. And the present progressive, she is celebrating her birthday. Good job kids! You know already the past, present, and future progressive tense of verbs. On the right side of a photo, what is the boy doing? And on the center, what did he receive? The boy is Daniel Cabrera of Cebu. He was caught studying on a street for a free light. His photo goes viral and he has received praises from netizens and other organizations. That is how Daniel Cabrera gives importance to education. He believes that having education in life or finished your study, it will give you work and competitive salary and have quality living. Present perfect is a verb tense that is used to show that an action has taken place once or many times before now. In short, connecting the past and present or action in the past result in the present. It has no time expression. As you see the table, we have subjects I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. Helping verb have and has. And in the third column, the past participle of regular verbs such as recited, worked, and studied. We call them regular verb because we just added the ed or ied on it example i have recited the poem in public 
you have recited the poem in public. We have recited the poem in public. They have recited the poem in public. I have worked harder this week. You have worked harder this week. We have worked harder this week. They have worked harder this week. I have studied for the examination this month. You have studied for the examination this month. We have studied for the examination this month. They have studied for the examination this month. He has recited the poem in public. She has recited the poem in public. It has recited in public. He has worked harder this week. She has worked harder this week. It has worked harder this week. He has studied for the examination this month. She has studied for the examination this month. It has studied for the examination this month. Here, our helping verb have not or haven't is in negative form because of the word not. We can contract the have not into haven't by removing the O and replacing it with apostrophe and combine them together to become one word. It's up to you which one do you like to use, have not or haven't. For past participle, the verb become irregular once the spelling is changed, such as done, turn, and spoken. This one is a negative of a regular verb. Again, let us be reminded that have is positive and haven't is negative. The regular verbs added with e, ed, or ied, and the irregular verbs the spelling has changed. Let us try a few items as practice exercise. Say the correct helping verb, positive, and past participle of given verb. 1. I blank find blank my ball pen. He blank discover blank vaccine for COVID-19. They blank plan blank trees. It blank develop blank by the scientist. You blank finish blank the drawing. Let us check if you are correct. Here are the answers. Have found. Has discovered have planted, has developed, have finished. Let us try a few items as practice exercise. See the correct helping verb, negative, and past participle of given verb. Pause this video for a while for your answer. She blank, give blank me an answer. I blank, see blank my classmates. We blank, Catch blank the small fish. Blank you watch blank the movie. It blank wash blank by hands. I think you're done. So here's the answer. She has not or hasn't given me an answer. I have not or haven't seen my classmates. We have not or haven't caught the small fish have not or haven't you watched the movie it has not or hasn't washed by hands let us try a few items as practice exercise change the given verb into past participle to make the sense present perfect again post this video for a while for your answer have they made a decision? Has she take her vitamins? Have you do your homework? Has it worked? 
have you drive the car? Let's see if you got a correct answer. Have they made a decision? Has she taken her vitamins? Have you done your homework? Has it worked? Have you driven the car? This time, let's have our recap even now understand present perfect tense. Fill the blank with a missing word to complete the paragraph. Pause this video again for a few seconds for your answer. Present perfect is a blank of verb that show an action has taken place once or blank before now. The action was blank sometimes in the past and is still continuing in the blank with no blank. Let's find out if your answers are the same. Present perfect is a tense of verb that show an action has taken place once or many times before now. The action was completed sometimes in the past and is still continuing in the present with no time expression. Always remember this formula, subject plus helping verb plus past participle of the verb. For the meantime, let us try this 5 item activity to know your knowledge about disaster preparedness. See through if the statement is correct and false if not correct. Number 1. In case of earthquake, place heavy objects in high places like on top of cabinet or shelves. Number 2. Always have your survival kit ready. Number 3. If you are outdoors when an earthquake happens, be sure you are near posts, walls, trees, buildings, and power lines. Number 4. It is best to stay in safe places place and number five cooperate with the rescue officers let's find out if your answers are the same choose the present perfect tense of verb say your answer louder number one she blank here for two years a works b worked c has worked d has working correct answer is c has worked. She has worked here for two years. Number two. Have you ever blanked the farm? A. Visiting. B. Visited. C. Visits. D. Visit. Correct answer is B. Visited. Have you ever visited the farm? Blank lunch. A. I'm cooking. B. Cook. C. Will cook. D. Have cooked. Correct answer is D. Have cooked. I have cooked lunch. Number 4. D. Blank the answer. A. Haven't given. B. Haven't give. C. Hasn't given. D. Hasn't give. Correct answer is A haven't given they haven't given the answer number five we belong to Boracay a have been B has been C having been D have been correct answer is D have been we have been to Boracay kids I hope you understand and enjoy our lesson today about present perfect tense of verbs Goodbye and see you in the next lesson.